In this video, I'm going to give you 6 reasons why 4K Blu-rays will still beat the pants of Sony's new Bravia Core streaming service, which is capable of a very high bitrate of up to 80 megabits per second. Hello everyone, Vicentio from HDTV Test here. At CES 2021, Sony did a surprise announcement of its new Bravia Core streaming service, whose key feature is a very high bitrate of up to 80 megabits per second. In this video, what I'm going to do is to let you know why I think the streaming service will still not be able to beat 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays. Now, reason number one is that even though the Bravia Core streaming service is capable of up to 80 megabits per second, 4K Blu-rays or Ultra HD Blu-rays are capable of even higher, certainly those well-mastered titles. So you can see some of these scenes here going up to 90 megabits per second and some even exceeding 100 megabits per second. And even though 80 megabits per second is extremely high and Sony has promoted that as rivaling 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays, and certainly, I think it is superior to all other streaming services we've had to date. For example, let's say Netflix. The highest bit rate that I see from the company these days would be around 15 to 17 megabits per second. And even the best streaming provider, probably from the Apple TV 4K box, is probably only going to be reaching around 35 megabits per second max. So from the point of view of a bit rate for a streaming service, the 80 megabits per second that the Sony Bravia Core service is offering is certainly very enticing and is superior to what other streaming services are delivering. But when you have physical media, as I've actually shown you, you are capable of an even higher bit rate should the mastering company choose to do so. And we can see some titles that exceed 80 megabits per second, some even exceeding 100 megabits per second. And the higher your bit rate, the less compression artifacts you will see. Now, this brings me to the second reason of why I think Ultra HD Blu-ray is still superior to the Sony Bravia Core streaming service. And the reason is the minimum internet bandwidth that is required to achieve 80 megabits per second. Now, obviously, with a headline title of up to 80 megabits per second, you never stop to read the fine print. You never stop to read the terms and conditions. But as everyone who has claimed travel insurance will know, <laughs> terms and conditions is the bane of every insurance claim. So if you read the small print on the Sony Bravia Core official website, you will see that in order to achieve 80 megabits per second of bitrate through the Sony Bravia Core streaming service, you will have to have a minimum internet speed of 115 megabits per second. Now, I don't know where you stay and you know what sort of broadband speed you are getting, but I don't think you know over 100 megabits per second of broadband speed is easily accessible by most people. And the thing is, I am stuck with a maximum internet speed of 76 megabits per second at the moment. And I'm trying to get an upgrade to a one gigabit line. And because, you know, I run a business, a YouTube business, so to speak, you know, it will cost me a bomb, probably around 500 to 600 pounds a month, you know, to try and get a one gigabit line installed into my premises. So it is not cheap. And with 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays, you don't even need, you know, an internet line. You can actually just take a working 4K Blu-ray player, get some disc, even if you are in Alaska, or maybe if you are up in the Himalayas, you can still play 4K Blu-rays without requiring an internet line. So from that point of view, I think unless you have 115 megabits per second of broadband speed, the very high bitrate that was promised up to 80 megabits per second will never be realized on the Sony Bravia Core streaming service. And the third reason is in terms of the audio. Now, when we talk about a cinematic experience, you know, we have to talk about the whole package, not only in terms of the picture, but also in terms of the audio. And unfortunately, the audio codec that 
the Sony Bravia Core streaming service is going to be using is DTS. It is not even lossless. It is going to be DTS Digital 5.1. And as everyone who has compared the lossless audio codec from 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays and also the lossy codecs that you get from streaming sites will tell you, especially if you have an awesome home theater system, you can definitely hear the difference in the dynamic range and the resolution of the sound that is being output by the content plate. And from that point of view, sound is definitely as important as the picture when it comes to a complete and immersive cinematic experience. And I am slightly disappointed that the Sony Bravia Core streaming service is only focusing on the picture and not on the sound. You know, at least provide some sort of lossless codec, you know, to deliver even higher audio resolution and higher dynamic range in terms of the frequency response. And that is a disappointment with the Sony Bravia Core streaming service at the moment. Reason number four is that in terms of the HDR picture, there is no Dolby Vision on board used on the Sony Bravia Core streaming service. And the website and also Sony says that it is only going to go up to 4K HDR, which to my mind reads vanilla static metadata HDR10. In case you are wondering why Dolby Vision is superior, Dolby Vision is a dynamic metadata format which can help recreate the artistic intent in a more faithful manner because you know you can actually embed dynamic metadata into every frame or every scene which will tell your display you know how you should actually manage the scene how you should actually manage the backlight and how should you actually manage the tone mapping on a frame by frame or scene by scene basis and the thing is most of other competing streaming providers have already jumped on board the Dolby Vision bandwagon. And although not every Ultra HD Blu-ray will have Dolby Vision, there are more than a handful of titles with Dolby Vision support. And none of the titles that are delivered by the Sony Bravia Core streaming service will be utilizing Dolby Vision. It is certainly lacking in the sense that it is not supporting the most premium HDR format which comes closer to reproducing the creator's intent than all other competing HDR formats on the market. And that is certainly disappointing from the point of view of the Sony Bravia Core streaming service, especially considering that these Sony Bravia XR TVs will be supporting Dolby Vision, especially in the TV-led version. And this brings me to my fifth point of why I think 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays will still be superior to the Sony Bravia Core streaming service. And that is the limited number of titles within the Sony Bravia Core service. So Sony Bravia Core is done by Sony Pictures Entertainment and obviously, you know, Sony as a big conglomerate. But currently, every movie that you can watch on the streaming platform is only going to be limited to titles which are owned by Sony Pictures Entertainment themselves. So from the definitely cannot compete with 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays which have titles from all the studios including Warner Brothers, including Paramount, including Universal, Disney, Pixar. You get a much more diverse selection of movies that you can watch on 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays compared with the Sony Bravia Core streaming service. And this brings me to the sixth and final reason of why 4K Blu-rays will always beat the Sony Bravia Core streaming service. And that is because the Sony Bravia Core streaming service is only limited to Sony's 2021 Bravia XR TVs. So Bravia XR is Sony's new chipset or processor for some of their higher end televisions in 2021 and it uses some cognitive intelligence processing. But key to the whole Bravia core streaming platform and how it is able to deliver 80 megabits per second of bitrate is this technology called PureStream and it is an adaptive streaming technology and apparently only Sony's 2021 televisions with the Bravia XR chipset can handle and decode this pure stream codec. 
So from that point of view, you are already getting a very limited selection of displays that can support the Bravia Core service. And obviously, given Sony's track record at maintaining and supporting their streaming services, let's say Sony Crackle, Sony PlayStation View, Sony 4K Store, and things like that, you know, let's just say that their track record isn't exactly stellar. I don't know how long they will keep supporting the Bravia Core streaming service and I think initially the Bravia Core service is pitched as let's say an add-on for people who have bought the Bravia XR TVs and I think it is just an incentive for people to buy these new Sony 2021 Bravia XR televisions. I don't think it is meant to be a serious competitor to for example, Netflix or Amazon Prime Video or Disney Plus as such. So Sony themselves admitted that they are intending to support the Bravia Core streaming service for only two years and then they'll assess the situation and decide whether to continue. And that doesn't bode well for the long-term future of the service from my point of view because even though it is capable of 80 megabits per second presumably because it is a very niche limited service that is limited to only owners of Sony Bravia XR televisions and it only delivers a limited number of titles within Sony's catalog it doesn't bode well long term into the future whether this service will continue beyond two years and I asked Sony whether the service can be backported onto older Sony televisions and the company told me that because of limitations within the video processing chipset that is required to decode PureStream it is not possible to support this on older than 2021 Sony televisions without the Bravia XR processor so that is that but let me know what you think you know in terms of the service are you tempted by the 80 megabits per second or do you agree with me that there are these six reasons that will prevent this Sony Bravia Core streaming service from being a viable competitor to 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays if you like to watch some of our technical 4K Blu-ray reviews. I've created a playlist here if you'd like to click on it and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.